Hey guys, it's Yuki here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on what the last few new characters are going to be for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, I'm going to go off blog theory for this video because I think it will be a lot more fun that way, since blog theory states that there will possibly be 7 to 8 new fighters left to reveal, and I feel I have a good idea of who may be left. If we're doing this via blog theory, then I'm going to start off by listing the Echo Fighters that I think have yet to be revealed, and then I will say who I think the last few newcomers will be. Starting pretty basic here, I believe Ken as an Echo of Ryu is pretty much a lock for this game, mainly because he is the original Echo Fighter of fighting games, and that one picture leak that we did see of him in the game is pretty darn convincing to say the least, and has yet to be debunked. Next we have Shadow the Hedgehog, and I also believe he's a lock. There would really be no reason to not have Shadow as Sonic's Echo. I mean, Knuckles is the new Sonic Assist trophy, and I think this one's just a no-brainer. Plus, Sonic was the first third-party character to be revealed after Snake, and I feel that he has a pretty large following as well. Third, I feel is a little bit of an odd choice considering no one's ever even mentioned this character to possibly be an Echo. However, I feel I can make a strong enough case for this fighter's inclusion. And I think the third Echo I want to talk about will be Hilda from Link Between Worlds. The main reason I think this is because she could be Zelda's Echo Fighter, since they completely redesigned Zelda to look like she did in Link Between Worlds. So I feel it just makes sense to give Hilda as an Echo of Zelda. Next, we have the beginning of the newcomers. So the fourth character I believe that's going to come into play will be... Incineroar. Now personally, I would much rather have Decidueye be the next Pokemon fighter, however I can't deny how much traction Incineroar has gotten over the past few months, and I think he makes a lot of sense. Plus, if we go off leaks, then we have the whole Virgibin thing, and it's a very high possibility at this point. Though, honestly, I wouldn't be too surprised if we don't even get another Pokemon rep, just because, you know, a new Pokemon rep isn't necessarily a big outcry from fans over the past, you know, so many years of Smash Brothers history, but I guess we'll just have to let, wait and see. Fifth is someone who has also gotten a lot of traction recently, and that would be Skull Kid. I mean, think about it. The moon is the Majora's Mask Assist trophy, we have yet to see Skull Kid, and Sakurai made a big deal about Skull Kid not being playable in Smash 4, and we have yet to see Young Link's final smash, so I honestly think that Skull Kid will be in this time around. If not base game, he will most likely be in DLC, if we even get DLC, because I kind of have a working theory in my head that we may not get DLC, or we may not get DLC as quickly as people are expecting, mainly because I believe Sakurai is all about the main game. He's focused on that. He ain't worried about DLC right now, so we'll just have to wait and see. Sixth, we have Shantae. Now, I wasn't too sure about Shantae being in Smash Brothers for the longest time. However, after I saw a couple videos of people talking about how likely she is, I couldn't ignore it anymore. I highly encourage you to go check out the videos people have made on the evidence that supports Shantae's inclusion. I think it all makes a lot of sense, and I'll be really happy if she's in. I was kind of pulling for her during the Smash 4 days, so... Seventh, and the one that I think won't be in if we get seven more characters instead of eight, is Isaac from Golden Sun. Now, there isn't a whole lot of reason supporting this one, except for that one picture that Sakurai tweeted that looks like a Golden Sun battle, and the fact that we haven't seen Isaac's assist trophy, even though that was already cut from Smash 4. We're definitely going to have to wait and see on this one, but out of all of the ones I have on this list, I think he's least likely. Sorry, Isaac fans. And finally... Last but not least, we have Gino. Now, I am 100% positive that Gino will be in this game, and I think he will be the very last character to be announced as a part of the base roster. It just makes way too much sense to me. I mean, he was popular on the ballot. Sakurai himself wants him in. He was the only Mii Fighter costume to get a splash screen. I mean, come on, without Gino, it just would not be Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is why I think he is without a doubt a lock, and when he does get revealed, I am going to literally lose my shit on camera. Just wait and see. Hopefully we won't have to wait too much longer for him to be announced. So there you have it. That is my final roster prediction for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we only have about 6 or 7 weeks until the game launches on December 7th, so then we will know 
the final roster soon enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I know I've been a little sporadic with my uploads recently on my personal channel here, but that's because I've been working really hard on this new animated music video that is almost complete, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. It's going to be so great. I've put so much effort into it. I'm so excited. And my next video will go up on next Thursday, not this Saturday, because I'm going to be adding in a lot more production quality into that video in particular. And yeah, I really hope you guys like it. I'm going to be trying out some new things, so we'll see what happens. And hopefully I can get back to uploading twice a week soon, but we'll have to wait and see because if the higher production quality video comes out and it does very, very well, then I might switch over to that style. And if that happens, it'll probably be more like one video a week. Uh, no, without a doubt, it'll be one video a week after I finish the animated music video. But that'll only go on for so long because I'm going to be working on another big project and so on and so forth. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. However, overall, I do have a lot of huge things planned for this channel, especially with these next couple months coming up. So please, if you're a fan of my content, stay tuned. And if you're not a fan and you just came for the Smash Brothers, then click that damn subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when I talk about things that. There's going to be plenty of things from Smash Brothers to video games and so on and so forth. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.